Hello everyone, Mikey the Eagle here. In this video, I'll show you how Dan DTM and Dr. Mike absolutely destroyed YouTube's three biggest losers, Logan Paul, KSI, and Mr. Beast. So for those who have been living under a cave, this trio created Lunchly, which is supposed to be healthy for kids, and it's the perfect alternative for Lunchables, since you know it's supposed to be tastier and healthier. Just take a look for yourself. Turkey stack them. 310 calories. 230 calories. 21 grams of sugar. Only seven grams of sugar. If you look at this close up, you can already tell which one has better ingredients. All right, we'll start off with the Lunchables. Bro, I'm sorry, that's trash. Come in close and look at the queso cheese in Lunchly versus whatever that is. Oh, Drip gosh. versus stick. I like my cheese drippy, bro. Oh boy, just because Lunchly might be healthier than Lunchables, it doesn't make it healthy. Vape might be healthier than cigarettes, but you don't see anyone saying vape is good for you, it's the alternative of cigarettes, because that sounds so fucking stupid. Both Lunchly and Lunchables are junk food dog shit. Whatever you like it or not, that's the truth. Alright? I mean, is it really that hard to understand? Imagine scamming your own fan base. Bro, you got hundreds of millions of dollars, yet you choose to scam the kids that admire you. That is just fucking sad. Luckily, Dan DTM was aware of this bullshit and he actually exposed them for who they truly are. He tweeted, what happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know any better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. Massive W to Dan DTM, I have to say. So after Dan DTM stated his opinion, KSI started attacking him by calling him a dumbass. KSI even made a 20 minute long video responding to Dan DTM's one tweet. So as usual, KSI's boyfriend Logan reacted to KSI's video. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if KSI and Logan turn out to be a gay couple. They are basically meat riding one another 24-7. What can I say, Logan Paul is such a supportive husband. In all seriousness, it's actually sad how desperate they are. So you might think KSI has finally stopped, but sadly no. KSI keeps digging his grave, he just can't let it go. I guess that DTM shattered KSI's ego because he tweeted this. So KSI responded again by saying, Dan DTM, why don't you attack Kai Sinet? He's working with McDonald's, a healthy product that doesn't benefit their fans. Now, what KSI fails to understand is that Kai has never said McDonald's is healthy. You guys are the ones saying Lunchly is good for children. When a person buys cigarettes or alcohol, they know what they're getting into. They know it's unhealthy, but you guys sell junk food dog shit and claim it's a high quality product, that it's actually good for you, when in reality you're just manipulating a bunch of kids into buying your product because they don't know any better, and they actually think it's good for them. I guess KSI's massive forehead can't let go of Dan DTM because bro wants to meet him and talk to him like real man, what a fucking joke. And the funniest thing is we got Mr. Beast over here thinking it's best to respond to Dan DTM's tweet over responding to other important stuff like I don't know the allegation that he knew Chris Tyson was a pedo or the 54 page lawsuit he got himself into. At this point nothing surprises anymore. Anyway let's see what this guy has to say. So bro is out here comparing fresh chicken and broccoli to lunchly. You know what I'm wasting my time. I'm quitting today. We both know Lunchly is just as bad as Lunchables. You aren't fooling anyone. Maybe you're fooling seven-year-olds, I don't know. Let's just react to Dr. Mike and what he thinks about Lunchly. Let's go. Is it fair to say that Lunchly is healthier? I guess one can say yes, but honestly, probably more so as a marketing tactic. Less than 10% of calories should come from saturated fat. Lunchly turkey, 23% of calories come from saturated fat. Less than 10% of calories should come from added sugars. Lunchly turkey, 10.4 comes from added sugars. But this is where things get really interesting, and for some reason, no one has pointed this out. You see, USDA caloric guidelines say that a lunch meal for kids K through eight should contain around 625 calories. Kids need energy to function and calories give them that energy. Lunchly turkey contains only 230 calories, which would mean a kid would need to eat about 2.7 portions to consume enough calories. And if they did that, they'd get nearly 1300 milligrams of sodium which is also significantly over the USDA standards. So they'd be either under eating calories or overeating sodium. Finally, the grain guidelines state that 80% of lunch meals must be whole grain and Lunchly Turkey does not list any whole grain.
I find it funny how Dr. Mike absolutely shutted Mr. Beast's mouth as Mr. Beast talks like Lunchly is this perfect product for kids. Oh Lunchly, oh what a heaven in all the universe. Absolutely not. Lunchly is a processed food like any other product out there. And it's definitely not a high quality food. And when they claim it's a high quality, healthy product, they are just basically trying to scam their fan base. Obviously, KSI continues to yap about absolutely nothing, and I truly can't react to it. Bro made 100 plus responses to Dan DTM's one tweet. Now, I truly don't care what he wants to say. Dan DTM lives rent free inside his giant forehead. Bro got a 5 star hotel. Anyway, the amazing part about all this is that people are actually starting to wake up and unite to call out Lashley for what it truly is, processed junk food. People actually stopped following some random YouTubers blindly. They do their own research before they take for granted what some of these famous guys say. It's almost like I can feel my fate in humanity being restored. Regardless, let me know what you guys think about Lashley and I shall see you next video. Have fun.